I'm blessed. You know, I'll be 70 in November. The oh fact that God. I can still move my legs, you know, that the fact that I can get up and you down. You are amazing. I, you know I, that. Like, that is, it's, that, it's a gift. And I'm, I have a lot of gratitude at this moment in my life. Lulu, the renowned Scottish singer and actress, has carved an illustrious career spanning over six decades, enchanting audiences with her soulful voice and magnetic stage presence. Throughout her career, she has effortlessly traversed genres from pop to soul, showcasing her remarkable skills as an artist. But amidst her celebrated career, there is an intriguing quirk that adds a unique dimension to her persona. Join Facts First as we present Lulu Reveals the Strange Rule She Lives By Every Single Day. Early Life Lulu, whose real name is Marie McDonald McLaughlin Laurie, was born November 3, 1948, in Lennoxtown, Scotland. She grew up in a working-class family with a passion for music. Her father was a butcher, and her mother worked as a tea lady. From a young age, Lulu showed a natural talent for singing, often performing at family gatherings and local events. Her big break came at age 15 when she won a singing competition on the Scottish TV program Opportunity Knox in 1964. This victory led to her signing a recording contract with Decca Records. Shortly after, she released her debut single, a cover of the Isley Brothers' Shout, which became an instant hit in the UK, reaching the top 10 in the charts. In fact, in an interview in 2019, she talked about the time when she saw Paul McCartney and John Lennon on a British TV show, and they were asked an important question. Lulu's energetic and soulful voice quickly captured the attention of audiences, and she became a popular performer on the British music scene. In 1965, she represented the United Kingdom in the Eurovision Song Contest with the song Boom Bang a Bang, which tied for first place with three other entries. Throughout the 60s, she continued to release hit singles, including To Sir With Love, which was featured in the film of the same name starring Sidney Poitier. The song became a major international success, reaching number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart in the United States. In addition to her music career, she also ventured into acting, appearing in films and television shows. She starred alongside Sidney Poitier in To Sir With Love and also appeared in the cult classic The Boat That Rocked, known as Pirate Radio in the U.S. With her distinctive voice, charisma, and versatility, she's remained a beloved fixture in the music industry for decades. Career Highlights her career is marked by many highlights that span decades, and one of those early achievements was the Eurovision Song Contest, and shortly after was To Sir With Love, the title track for the film starring Sidney Poitier. Throughout the 60s and 70s, though, she continued to release hit singles, including The Boat That I Row and Oh Me Oh My, I'm a Fool For You Baby, further establishing her as a powerhouse vocalist. In the 80s, she experienced a career resurgence with the release of the chart-topping single Shout, a re-recording of her debut hit. Her enduring popularity was further evidenced by her collaborations with other artists, including her duet with Take That on Relight My Fire, which topped the UK charts in 1993. In more recent years, she's continued to perform and record music while also exploring other creative endeavors. And as for her decision to be called Lulu, well, it turns out it was a decision from her manager at the time. She came into the club with her husband and they were talking about me. She sort of said that I was a Lulu of a kid. And the name just seemed to stick, and uh, it's been very successful. Personal Life Lulu's personal life has been marked by various relationships and marriages. In 1969, at the peak of her early fame, she married Morris Gibb of the Bee Gees, one-third of the renowned pop group. Their union lasted until 1973, and although their marriage ended in divorce, they remained on amicable terms. Following her divorce from Gibb, Lulu found love again and married John Frieda, the hairdresser turned successful businessman, in 1976. Their marriage endured for over two decades, ending in 1991. Despite the end of her marriages, Lulu's personal life continued to be of interest to the public, and she's been linked romantically with various people over the years, though details about these relationships have usually remained private. Her career in recent decades in the early 2000s, Lulu focused on both her music and acting careers. She released several albums during this period, including Together in 2002, a collaboration with soul singer Bobby Womack, and Back on Track in 2004, which featured covers of classic soul songs. Additionally, she remained active in the theater world, starring in productions like Guys and Dolls and 42nd Street in London's West End. 
As the decade progressed, she continued exploring new opportunities. In 2008, she danced as a contestant on the reality TV show Strictly Come Dancing, the UK version of Dancing with the Stars, winning over audiences with her charm and dancing skills. Her participation earned her a new generation of fans and a reignited interest in her music. In 2010, she celebrated her 50th anniversary in the music industry with the release of the album Lulu on Top of the World, which featured re-recordings of her classic hits as well as new material. Throughout the 2010s, she remained active on the music scene, touring extensively and performing at various events and festivals. In 2015, she released the album Making Life Rhyme, which showcased her songwriting talents and featured a mix of original songs and covers. She's also continued to explore acting, appearing in TV shows like Absolutely Fabulous and The Syndicate. She also wrote a memoir titled I Don't Want to Fight, published in 2017. As she entered her seventh decade in the entertainment industry, her passion for performing remained undiminished. A Peculiar Habit Lulu is not only known for her talent, but also her peculiar habits. Among her eccentricities is a particularly odd rule. She refrains from speaking altogether before noon. This self-imposed silence has become something of a trademark for the singer, sparking curiosity and speculation among fans and the media. It's not merely a passing whim, but a steadfast practice she adheres to with unwavering dedication. While many artists engage in vocal warm-ups or conversation to kickstart their day, Lulu embraces silence as a means of preserving her vocal cords and maintaining a sense of inner tranquility. In interviews, she's playfully brushed off questions about her morning silence, often responding with a coy smile or a wink. She's never fully disclosed the reasoning behind this unique habit, preferring to keep an air of mystery surrounding her personal routines. Some speculate it's a form of vocal rest. Others suggest it's a spiritual practice, a moment of mindfulness and introspection before diving into the demands of the day. Regardless, Lulu's morning silence has become an integral part of her persona, adding to the allure and enigma that surrounds her. Her Final Tour The announcement of Lulu's final tour has sent shockwaves through the music industry, prompting an outpouring of love and appreciation from fans worldwide. For many, it's an opportunity to relive cherished memories and bask in the nostalgia of Lulu's timeless music, while others see it as a chance to bid farewell to a beloved icon who has left an indelible mark on the world of music. Concert venues are buzzing with excitement as tickets sell out within minutes. Reflecting on her decision to retire from touring, Lulu speaks candidly about her desire to explore new avenues and embrace the next chapter of her life. Quote, it's been an incredible journey, but it's time for me to step back and savor the memories, to spend more time with loved ones, and to embark on new adventures. She also talked in an interview about how she was foregoing a traditional party for her 75th birthday. Like I said, everybody said, why didn't you have a party for 75 years? Of You're 75, Lou. I said, I chillax with my family, thank you. Mm -hmm. But the party will be on the tour. For fans, Lulu's final tour represents more than just a series of concerts. It's a chance to say goodbye to a musical icon who has soundtracked their lives and inspired countless generations. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of Lulu performing? Let us know in the comments section below.